This place is very big and looks very cool. <laughs> I don't know why that sign is so funny. <gasps> There's two of them. <laughs> I didn't see that other one walking. Let's go this way for a little bit and just see if I feel, oh my gosh. There were these two women behind me who were like, watch out, there's an alligator, because I didn't see him. It was one of those things I never saw coming. The hound that if I did, I'd start running. The day she asked me to dance out in the rain. I knew with her I'd do anything, yeah. Hi, this is Katie. Good morning. It is about 9.30. And one thing before we get into this video, a lot of you might know that the last few months I've been dealing with an allergic reaction dermatitis on my eyelids and my under eyes. And it's been like puffy and itchy sometimes. And then it's been really red and really, really dry. And so I haven't worn any eye makeup and I've just been dealing with that allergic reaction. But about two weeks ago, it kind of went away or at least like really decreased. And so I'm really grateful for that because it was, you know, not the most fun thing to deal with. But also on top of that, I decided to wear mascara again. So if you're like, Katie looks different, it's because I have mascara on. And hopefully the dermatitis and the allergic reaction is gone, but we'll see if it comes back. I don't know. Anyway, I am at Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake. Hold on in Orlando, Florida. And uh, I just drove in and I talked to the guy at the gate. First of all, the sign said $5, but they only charged me $2. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I only got charged $2 to come in here and park. And he talked to me for a minute about everything that was going on, but it was like a lot of information at once. So I only remembered a couple things. He was saying, what I do remember is that first of all, he gave me this map. I love maps of like parks and stuff. I love them. And so up here is the water. And then down at the bottom is a nature trail and an animal farm. He said there's horses and a donkey. And then there's another like paved trail, he said. And uh, yeah, so I just figured that we would hang out here for the day, just explore this park. I've never been here before and go for like a little walk. I'm not gonna call it a hike because it's Florida and so it's really flat, but go on a little outdoor walk and take you guys along with me. Right where I'm parked right now, the water is right in front of me. So let's go outside and let's check out this park. See what this sign says. The fitness center, apparently a boat rental. This place is very big and looks very cool. So, am I, oh yeah, I can just walk in here. I guess that gate is just so you don't drive in here. So we are, I think like right there. I think where it says two, I think. But let's go check out the water first. There's a volleyball court, like a beach volleyball court. Do you see that? I don't know why that sign is so funny. Alcohol and balloons are prohibited. <laughs> Anything else is fine. <laughs> Just no alcohol, no balloons. Oh my gosh, you guys, the irony, the irony. Can you see this? <laughs> the irony, no balloons, balloon, <laughs> no balloons, <laughs> balloon. Oh goodness. Okay, but I found sand. I'm sand. The sign over there says no swimming because there might be alligators. More beach volleyball. When I was like, I don't know, 11 or something, I fractured my wrist playing volleyball at a neighbor's house. I think that like when I went to hit the ball, it hit like my fingers and pushed my hand back or something like that when I was young. But I got a pink cast, I remember that. But yeah, so since then I haven't really wanted to play volleyball very much, except for like when I had to in school. So the water was very pretty. And then, oh, <laughs> my other hand has the map and my LaCroix. So uh, anyway, uh, the water's very pretty, of course. And he told me, the guy that I, gave the money to when I walked in. He told me that there are two trails, one that's paved, that was two miles. And then he said a nature trail that was a mile, which I just assume means like unpaved, I guess. 
so I will go check both of them out and just see what the views are and stuff and then decide which one we want to do because you guys know me when I'm walking at a park or I'm hiking by myself I have like some uh, some standards and some rules for myself if I feel unsafe if I don't have phone service, if there's not a lot of people around, if the hike is super secluded, I personally won't do them by myself. I would do them with a friend or with my dad or whatever, but I wouldn't normally do that by myself. Um, my hair. But yeah, I will go on walks by myself if I have phone service and I feel safe and it's in a more like public area, you know, just kind of depends. But anyway, I feel like the lighting in this video already a little a little questionable anyway okay i'm gonna look at this map for a second oh my goodness i'm gonna look at this map for a second and decide where we're gonna go also we were not up there we were here where it says parking lot two come on katie <laughs> anyway so what i think i'm gonna do is drive over to parking lot four and then go on the hike from there and i think i'm gonna at least check out the more nature trail hike especially because this is where it looks like the farm is and i might go get to see a donkey so yeah i'm gonna go check that out and then we'll see and i'll maybe drive around a little bit and stuff but i want to go check that out first it is so windy i hope that you can hear me we found lot four and you know what's at lot four? The little zoo, the little farm, whatever they're calling it. There's animals here. There's a donkey. There's goats, maybe. There's a pig. I'm so excited. Oh, all of our animals are rescues. Hi, baby. Hi, other baby. Good baby. I call all animals baby or bubba or something. Hi. I want to pet this little baby so bad. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. You're such a cutie. Piggy. Do you know I had a pet pig for like two weeks when I was 30? And then I just had to leave it with someone because I was on the road, but yeah. Hi, baby piggy. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't see that other one walking. Hi, Bubba. baby. Oh my goodness. The little cuties. Yeah, there's benches over there. What a beautiful park. Seriously. And I've only been here for a very short amount of time and I've only seen a very small part of it, but it is beautiful here. I love donkeys and mules so much. <gasps> Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my gosh. I love these guys so much. Hi. Hi, baby. Let's see where I can get good lighting. Hi. You wanna go for a walk with me? Come on. Could you imagine <laughs> if you just started walking with me? Yeah, I know. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. He's so cute. Hi, baby. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. I want to pet you more than I've wanted anything in my life. Hi. Are we going for a little walk? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hi. All right, I'm gonna actually walk around here again and take some pictures on my phone. 
and then we will go look for a little fake hike to go on, a little walk to go on. But I love it here already. I love this park so much. On the back of the map, you guys, it's so windy here today. But on the back of the map, it explains the fees. And so they only charged me $2 because the $5 that I saw on the sign, like when I drove in, I guess that's for a car full of people. But I guess if it's just a car and just the driver, then it's only $2. So that's cool. Okay, and so here's the Nature Connect Trail. The journey begins here with that little birdie. Okay, so as far as I can tell on this map that I got wet because I washed my hands, but I didn't dry them and then I touched the map. So we are like right there, We're right there. So let's walk. And again, I'll see how safe I feel on this trail. Okay, so let's go this way for a little bit and just see if I feel, oh my gosh. So I, I, I guess I just forgot how to walk for a second and I stepped in there and then did not hurt myself somehow, but I'm okay, but anyway. Yeah, so again, some trails I feel safe walking on by myself and some I don't, personal preference. So let's just see if I feel safe walking on this by myself. So far, so good. It's just so loud. The only thing so far that I don't like about this park is that it's so loud. Obviously with the animals and stuff, it's fine, but I mean, there's a lot of like air noise and road noise besides the air noise and the road noise and the cars and the tractors and stuff besides all that noise i love this park it's gorgeous okay so this is where i just was actually this is where the animals are right if my sense of direction is correct yeah the pigs are right here yep okay okay let's go back Farm Overlook Rhythm Building, and then Art Climbing and Entrance. Let's just keep going this way. I don't know what a rhythm building is, but... A journaling area, that is so cute. I actually do have like a notebook in the car. But again, it's just so loud. Like I don't do well with like all these loud noises. I don't know if the highway is right there maybe or what. Anyway. Sorry, not gonna complain. It's beautiful here. I like this trash can. That's good. This is gorgeous. Wow. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to this park. I think it's gorgeous. And they have animals. <laughs> That's gonna win me over every time. Okay, so so far I feel safe on this little trail. But he said one trail was paved and one wasn't. And I thought that this was the not paved trail, but that looks paved to me. So I don't know. Regardless, whatever. It's beautiful. There's a water fountain. That's like a tree. Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. This is a hammock for cats. I'm not gonna sit on it. I kind of want to, but I'm not gonna. <gasps> oh, this turtle. Okay, so I feel safe walking on this. Part of it is just, you know, like an inclination, like the Holy Spirit telling you if you're safe or not. But part of it also is, for me, common sense and logic and just my expertise, you know, and what I just feel safe doing. And so right now I have phone service. It's totally paved. And every, you know, few feet, there's like a giant opening. There are some people around. And so I feel safe on this trail by myself. See, like we're already at another wide open space. So I feel safe on this trail by myself. But for me, it just, it totally differs trail by trail when I'm walking alone of what I feel safe doing. Is this where I just was? Was I just at that bathroom? I think I was, I think I just made a circle. I, yeah, my car's right there. Okay, <laughs> I just made a circle. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go back on this walk and just go the other way. Uh, let's go this way, see what happens. This is climbing arts. 
this way. Wait, the rhythm building, we missed it somehow. Unless that was the little journaling area. But that also says building rhythm. That, that might be a different thing. Anyway. Another water fountain tree. A tree fountain. I think it's concrete. Still very cute. Okay, my car's right there. So we just made a circle. Like we started going that way and we just made a circle. So, I'm so confused. Okay, so mulch path, we were definitely not on that. The nature connect trail, I guess that's just a little separate thing. So we did not find either of these trails. So I guess the yellow or the beige is the road. And then the blue is a walking path. And this is the mulch path. But since we just went in a circle, I have no clue, unless the Nature Connect Trail is just a different thing. And that might be what it is. Maybe that's just separate and we weren't on either of these. All right, let's go try to find one of these trails. Cause that was still gorgeous in there, but let's go try to find a trail. Okay, so. It's really sunny right now. Um, oh. Okay, forget it. Yeah, I just don't know where those trails are. I think one might be like past the bathroom back here, maybe. Oh, oh, okay. So that's a trail. I assume that's the bike and walk path. Oh my gosh, I almost just walked in a spider web. Oh my God. Okay, Katie, God is with you all the time. God is with you all the time. God is good all the time. Okay, I almost just walked in a spider web. Like. So I was just gonna walk here to get to that trail. But in between these trees is a spider web. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but trust me, there's a spider web there and I almost just walked through it. And now, oh my goodness. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. You guys, I love nature. I love walking outside. I cannot deal with certain bugs on me. Like when I'm outside, I see a bug, fine. This is your house, I get it. But I do not wanna walk into a spider web. Oh my gosh. I, oh, I feel like I touched it. Okay, 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 Katie, okay. Okay. I have a very big fear of all bugs, not just spiders, all bugs, except for like a fly or like an ant. I can kind of handle those, but basically anything else I cannot handle. But walking in a spider web, I don't want to do that. Okay, now I'm like extra scared. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. But here is a trail. I'm never gonna walk in between trees again. <laughs> How gorgeous. Are those cicadas? What does that sound? Is it a cicada? Or a thousand of them? I love the little baby palmettos. Tiny little baby palm trees, look how cute. They're so tiny. I'm gonna go walk back to my car and maybe we'll go to another spot near the water. I love it here. Okay, I parked back at parking lot two, where we initially were. There's where the sand volleyball court is. But we're gonna walk this way for a second. I think really the star of the show in this video is the cicadas that I think are cicadas, whatever that noise is, and the wind. I, just, I hope the audio works out in some way. I love this park. I absolutely love this park. It's like not too overwhelmingly big, but it's definitely big enough that you can be here for hours and hours. Or if there's camping, there's cabins. And I think camping I saw on here is like $20 a night. $25 for a full RV hookup. $20 for partial. But regardless, yeah, I just really like this park a lot. Like there are people here but not too many people. I'm here on a Tuesday. 
and I've already been here for a couple hours at this point and I feel like I could easily still just hang out here for several more hours. There's so many places to sit. You can rent boats. There's, oh, what is it called? Disc golf or what is that thing called? The Frisbee thing, disc golf? There's that. There's just like a bunch of stuff. There's bathrooms everywhere. I just really like it here, except it's loud. That's my only thing. But I don't know how loud it is at night. So like, I don't know if camping would be annoying. Like, I don't know if it's too loud at night and where the camping is, I don't know if it's loud over there. I'm not sure. Regardless, I like this park a lot. Look how pretty, oh, there's a little thing. I think that I can walk on. Oh, there's someone fishing over there. Hold on, I'm gonna walk over here first. And then I'm gonna walk down there. Okay, getting this close to the water, definitely just look for alligators. good i'm not gonna go in the water or get too close to it but sometimes they will come up on the grass oh the guy who was fishing left i was only over there for like three minutes he left okay walk by the way i've lived in florida since last may and i never saw an alligator at all the parks i've been to except for a week ago i saw an alligator that actually came up on the land like on the grass not here obviously but at a different park about a week ago an alligator literally came up on the grass i was probably like from here to like that tree I was probably that far away from him until there were these two women behind me who were like, watch out, there's an alligator. Cause I didn't see him. Cause I was on like the walking trail, but he just got up on the, uh, on the grass. I have a picture. I'll put it in the video, but yeah. So I've seen one alligator since I've lived in Florida. And I saw an alligator once in Charleston when I was in a swamp with my dad. But I think some people think that you see alligators all the time and stuff, and I just haven't. I've literally seen the one in Florida, at least. And it was only a little scary. Because <laughs> I was still far enough away from him that I was like, okay, and then I obviously just walked away. This is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was at this park. I love it here so much. Again, except that it's kind of loud over there, like near the trails. Besides that, it is beautiful here. I love it here so much. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I was here. My hair keeps sticking to my face. But anyway, I really hope that you're subscribed. I talk about food on Sundays and then I vlog throughout the week. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's weird to wave with something in my hand. Bye. Oh, how's my hair? A mess? Whatever. <laughs> Bye, guys.